New this morning, a story that's been told for more than 20 years is now taking center stage in Springfield. Disney's The Lion King opens tonight and will be playing until March 10th. Hannah Zettel joins us now live with a sneak peek of the musical. Hannah, where are you? Good morning, guys. I'm live here at Juanita K. Hammonds Hall, where you can catch The Lion King while it's in town until March 10th. Now, it's not very busy right now because it's a little early, but give it a few hours. It's going to get busy because tonight is opening night. Now, earlier this week, I sat down with a cast member to find out why this musical that's been around for over two decades is so timeless. I think it's a timeless story that everyone can relate to, that I think when you see it the first time, you may relate to one character. You see it a second time, you relate to a different character. At the end of the day, it's about the circle of life, and we all got to go through that circle. Disney's The Lion King opens in Springfield tonight, after the Broadway show first started in 1997. The musical follows a young prince named Simba on a journey through self-discovery. The show has been recognized for visual artistry shown in sets and costumes. People don't know what to expect. You watch the animated film and you expect kind of to see that just brought to life. But it's a reimagination using like indigenous mask making uh, by the, through the mind of uh, Julie Taymor, the original director. So it's an incredible reimagination of what the savannah could look like, where you see both the animal side and the human side of every animal and character. The Lion King has won six Tony Awards, including Best Musical, and has been witnessed by more than 95 million people. The storyline still leaves audiences in awe, as well as performers. I still think about my family every show. So there's a scene in the show where Mufasa is explaining to his son how even though people pass on, they still live in you. Before coming to Mufasa, I was more like, more like a young Simba. It's like a young man kind of going through life for myself. But playing Mufasa, I feel like I'm, I'm representing who I come from, not just where I come from. Now, it was so great talking to that actor, Gerald Ramsey. He's so talented. You'd never know that this is actually his first role, and the only reason he auditioned was because his friend offered to buy him lunch. Now, I'll be back in daybreak, daybreak in 10 to talk to the marketing director here at Hammonds Hall to find out a little bit more about this awesome show. Back to you.